Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. Today we are at Interstate State Park in Wisconsin. So we're just outside of Dresser, Wisconsin, uh, right across the river from Interstate State Park in Minnesota. So we are going to hit the trail, have some snacks, and uh, enjoy this beautiful day in the middle of March. All right guys, stick with us. It should be an exciting episode. This is a very cool pavilion, isn't it? Look at this architecture and the wooden roof. This is awesome. All blocks. This is cool. It's got look at the fireplace cold. Yeah. This is way cool, man. I wonder if we can find enough bugs. Yeah. What do you think of this place, huh? Chase? What? What do you think of this place? Good. It's good. All right. Look at all the curvings in this wood right here. That is insane. From people, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's go in that thing. Look at this wood from this tree that died. Oh, yeah. Really? Must have, I bet you would have hit the ground. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whoa. That's crazy. All this wood just imploded when it hit the ground, I bet. That's crazy. <laughs> he was up ahead a little bit, wasn't he? He was. He was like, right ahead. Look at There's all these mushrooms. Come on. Big boy mushrooms. You got your stick. That's good because there's a lot of mud here. <laughs> there's mushrooms and there's mushrooms. Look at that mushroom, dude. I see mushrooms. Those are cool, huh? I see them. You know what kind they are? No. What? No. I know. Okay. Mushrooms stump them. Yeah. Because they're on stumps. Ha! Nice. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Did it fall off a tree? It looks like it's not on there. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been. Crazy. Where's the big mushroom? The big mushroom is that big brown one on the ground there. Yeah, Whoa, that's huge! That's... I hope I got the ravine they're talking about. <laughs> if that's the ravine on the ravine trail, it's not uh, not very big. It could be, though. I think I think it's more talking about we're hiking up the ravine. Like that area. Yeah, like we're in the ravine. Because if you look up, I mean, oh, way up high up there is the top of the hill. Oh, whoa, yeah. So we got a little bit of elevation gain. Your, your, your you got it, bud? Do you need help? Your brother's got you. Here comes Coco. You're stuck. <laughs> Deserted <laughs> island. Are you ready to cross the river? You it got this, be, Chase. It'll be scary, but I think we can do it. I'm gonna look at him. Oh, okay. He's gonna look at it first. Well, it's a nice river to look at. <laughs> well, creek, but. All right, Tracy, you've looked at it. Let's go. Yeah, you can touch it. JC, what'd you find, dude? <laughs> Found a little waterfall, huh, dude? There's another one right up behind you. Looking for dude. Looking for cool ones. Better ones. Can you Can show me? Here's one. This one. <laughs> this. My, Whoa. My, 
That one's pretty cool, dude. You know? I'm kind of getting wet and muddy. That's okay. That's part of enjoying, huh? That, that, pretty cool stuff here, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking for, rocks? Sweet. You gonna throw it in the river? In the creek? There you go. Oh, I can't see them now. Huh? What are those? They're worms or some sort. Look at there are little black worms all over the rocks. Is that worms or is that like, it could be like little leeches or something too. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, that's kind of the next That's why you purify your water before you drink it out of a creek, guys. A little bit of ice still left left in here in the hills, huh? This is pretty cool. Whew, slippery, man. <laughs> Look at those hills. That's cool, isn't it? That's the ravine. Yeah. Up ahead of us here, see the rocks? Right up over here? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool up in here. Everybody go down this way. That looks like a... Go down that path right here. This is beautiful. Isn't it though? <laughs> Let's keep going. Where? All the way up there. Maybe. Whoa, that's pretty tall. Yeah, we're that'd be cool. Be able to go up there. Well, I think if we keep going, we'll be good. Let's go in here. This is awesome. Like yeah. right in the middle of the forest, there's just these giant, giant boulders. Yeah. Well, this, guys, this is part of the Ice Age Trail. So, this whole valley, this whole St. Croix Valley, was actually carved out by glaciers. That's why they call this the beginning of the, the Glacier Trail. Or the Ice Age Trail, sorry, not the Glacier Trail, the Ice Age Trail. And that runs all the way through Wisconsin, all the way through, like, the Dells and that whole area. Basically follows the path of the glaciers. Tactor. We're hiking in this beautiful path. Yeah, are you gonna bring us with? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's go. Go. Let's go, Miles. All right, guys. So, like I said, this is the Interstate State Park, uh, just across the border. Sorry, I had to watch my footing there. Just across the border into Wisconsin from Taylor's Falls, Minnesota. So, we've hiked the trails on the other side of the river, but never this side. So, we were really excited to get out here and check this out. And this is really, really cool. I mean, it's completely different than the other side, which is crazy because it's only separated by a river that's, you know, a few hundred feet across uh, at this point anyway. So, but uh, yeah, no, this is really cool. Hey, bud, watch that ice there, okay? All right, so I had to help the little guy with, uh, with getting over some ice, but like I was saying, this is our first time in this state park, and there's there's actually a lot of trails over here to to check out. I mean, there, there's a whole other complex of trails along the river. So we won't get to that today because it's getting a little late in the day. But uh, yeah, this trail we kind of found by surprise. Actually, this guy right here found it. So he was just kind of wandering off through the parking lot and found this cool old pavilion. And uh, that led us to this trail. So that's what exploring with, uh, with kids and your family is all about, is just getting out and uh, finding the cool things that you didn't know were there. We have the... The TAO crew, huh? Yep. Yep, we're all here. We're all here. And they're way down there. <laughs> they fell behind a little, huh? All 
All right, guys, so we're not quite to the top. You can see it up behind me there, but this trail actually isn't on the map. We just pulled up the map on our phone and uh, maybe we weren't as prepared as we thought, but um, yeah, we pulled up the map and this trail is not on there. So we have to do a little research for next time. But in the meantime, sun's getting down there. We're gonna turn around and start working our way back to the parking area. So here we go. Record it, and we're gonna go like viral with that song. Right. Always check your foot. <laughs> Remember the conversation we had with Colton out at Red Rock in Nevada? We um, were crossing that like big flat of water, and there was all those slippery rocks. I should have sang that song then. I know. I'm saying. Always check your foot. Oh my word. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I think this is where I fell into that mud last time, isn't it? <laughs> You can see where everybody kind of cut around it. Yeah, whoo, doggy. That is muddy. And then we got Colton who's like going. Pulling us through. This is why you wanted black shoes. Yeah, so you could like not even care. Yeah. Look at well, you choosing a time. clean path. Good job, bud. There you go. Go ahead. He's become quite the hiking pro this trip. Yeah. Why do you think you're having so much more walk hunting this time than you did last year? Uh, because I don't have to hike. Yeah. Because you know how to hike. Is it because you're older and stronger, maybe? Mm -hmm. Or is it because you have your oh, this cool oh. new boots on? Oh, yeah, maybe it's because you got your new hiking shoes on. You did it! Good job! Good job. Five. Oh, we down? Boom! Boom. You know, Colton is here. There's a stick. You look like groundwater under there, though. That's here, crazy. Here, side forward. Show me this. Here, watch. Yeah, you look like groundwater in there. It's crazy. Crazy. No, that's bigger. <laughs> Your brother's calling you, Chase. Yep, there we go. She always oh, way over there. Okay. That was a cool crash, Chase. I tripped. Hey, Chase. Yeah. Look at Mama. Chase, are you good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Should I have been singing my song? Always check your footing. <laughs> Always you check your footing. <laughs> you guys would have never thought that, like, two hours ago, those shoes were sitting in a box at Famous Footwear. Oh yeah, brand new shoes. And, and you would never know that from looking at them now. <laughs> yeah. Right, dude? That's the way it's meant to be though. Yep, break them bad boys in. Gotta put your traps away. No more beyond this point. No more hunting, okay. no more trapping, no. stop it. I have like, I have like 20 right here. <laughs> I know, I was gonna set them up exactly on that sign. <laughs> That'd be funny to put like a bunch of traps like just on the other side of that sign. Yeah, we'll do it. The only thing you catch there would be hikers. I think that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well, <I'm gonna> go. <laughs> this is serious pants. Right. So like this wasn't at all what we planned, but it actually turned out pretty nice. Yeah, I mean it did. Like I said, you know, we, we didn't know this trail was here. It wasn't uh, it wasn't on the map. And we had planned, we found a, a trail on trails.com or what's the app all trails all trails this. yeah catch with the little guy yeah we actually found a hike for this area on all trails on an app and uh we figured we'd come check that out because that was on the other side down by the the river so we uh switched up a little bit like we had said earlier but uh i found yeah. it yeah he found it this is this is pretty cool so i gotta say though one this is the first time we've hiked in a wisconsin state park and uh by far, this is more, I guess more raw, I wouldn't say more natural, but more raw than, than a lot of the parks that we've hiked in Minnesota though. So the trails are a little bit rougher, which is something to keep in mind if you have little guys, but, uh, or little kids, but uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, we have an 11 year old and a four year old and they, they did just fine. Um, Except but, for one crash. Yeah, one, one little crash, but he bounced back, he's okay. So, but uh, yeah, no, this is, this is pretty cool. This is kind of reminiscent of, of trails that we hiked up in the PNW. So. Um, a little more 
Ooh, he almost went down. <laughs> As I say that, everybody starts spraining ankles. But uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, reminiscent of, of you know, a little bit more uh, technical trails, I guess you would say would be the right term for it. But uh, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. You wanna try to do a little campfire. Yeah. Just Since they have fire pits over there. Let's check this stuff out. Yeah, Colton, look how dry this Ooh, is. Ooh, that's good. This is like dry, dry, dry. We'll collect some of this. And we'll use some leaves as tinder. Get a little bark. Casey, can you help find some, some leaves? Piece. How are we planning to light it? Yeah, look at that. Thank you, woodpeckers. <laughs> look at that. Oh, there we go. Wowzers. There That's crazy. Yeah, some bigger chunks. Yeah. So they decimated that tree though. Yeah, they were. It's a good good bug tree apparently. Yeah. This is a nice trail. I'm really impressed. You yeah. Know? Yeah, this is cool. Like we've gone to the Minnesota side of this park for Gosh, I mean, years. since Colton was a baby, so yeah. 10 years, yeah, 11 years, because we have like pictures of me with him and our, his carrier. Yeah, that's what I was telling him earlier. I said, this this trail, I said, it's more raw, you know, it's it's kind of reminiscent of P&W style oh, state yeah. parks and trails, you know? Yeah. So, obviously different environment, but. Right, but still beautiful. Yeah. That's probably a, a cover for a utility or something. Or a secret bunker. Oh, did we you find a, the secret bunker? We don't have permission. No. That's a pretty cool bunker though, but let's go start our fire. All right, guys, I'm gonna go a little dad on you here for a minute. This is my daily dose of dad. So there were some folks down here having a fire earlier and as we walk around the corner, it's still ah. going and the folks are not here. So unattended campfires are not a good idea. Nope. Even in a pit, even in the state park. General rule of thumb in life, just don't, you know, if something's on fire, don't walk away from it. Just general rule of thumb. Right. But the plus side, we used to be able to get this going pretty easy. Yeah, that is a plus. I mean, how it's already going. Their Maybe indiscretion before. leads to us not really having to try hard. Right. <laughs> Opportunistic fire yeah. makers we are. <laughs> Man, I seriously wish like YouTube could come up with smell vision because that smells so good. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Let's try to get this thing going. Are you got that? What's in my house? It's there we go. Good. Found some kindling. In the car. There's nothing getting in my eyes. This just goes to show you should always go in the car with s'more fixings. Yeah, no doubt. Like impromptu s'mores. Like who would have thought? All right, so I'm kind of weird about this, but I was thinking about hiking shoes and how like the last pair of shoes I bought was seven years ago, which means that that pair of shoes that I had then hiked mountains in Washington, Washington and Montana, and it went on the ocean, hiked in like Nevada. Nevada. I mean, like you know, the, fire, yeah. those shoes were in a lot of places. So yeah. Whenever I buy so shoes, I think about like. The oh, possibility of where those shoes are going to go. Dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I so said, we, you know, we all got new shoes today, Dad. and yeah, we're so planning on covering some ground with them. Yeah, so yeah. who knows where these shoes are going to go? One sec, buddy. Hey, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love the stories behind shoes. Yeah, if shoes could talk. Right. Yeah, all the places they've been and seen. and Especially hiking shoes. Right, hiking shoes, yeah. yeah. That tells <laughs> the best story. <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, that one needs attention. All right, here we go. <laughs> One of the things we want to start doing was when we're out and about, if we are traveling because we want to travel more like we used to, is to find little free libraries. And there's one here. So right. we're going to take the boys and we're going to let them see if there's a book that they want. And then they can keep it in the car and we'll switch it out. Daddy. Yeah. Look at all the books. That's a lot of books. Yeah. <laughs> Chasey, do you see any books you might want to read? Can you lift me up? I can definitely lift you up. Oh, ah. <laughs> the magic is the Pooh Sunny Day songs? Yeah. It doesn't work anymore. Is it clean? Yeah, it's clean. Okay, is that the one you want to look at? Okay, you can put that in the car. Perfect. Let's read it on the fence by the library. Well, we can read it. <laughs> he's ready. Yeah, he's ready, all right. So still fun things to do at the visitor center, even though it's closed until further notice. Let's sit here and you read this to me. Okay. 
All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. We really appreciate you joining us on our hike of Interstate State Park right there behind me. And uh, we had a lot of fun getting out on the trail, really enjoyed uh, it finally being nice and, uh, and us being able to, to get outside and, and enjoy the outdoors again. So uh, before you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner, turn on likes and notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Like I said before, we got a lot planned uh, for this upcoming year, and uh, we want to make sure that you guys stick along with us. So head over, check us out on Instagram, keep up on day-to-day -day photos, activities, and what we got going on over on Instagram, and uh, hit us up on our website, www.tiredaxeoutdoors.com. Pick up a sticker, t-shirt, goodies on there, and soon to be a lot more. So hit us up, support the channel, and what we've got going on here. All right, guys, until next time, we will see you later. You stay safe. See ya. Bye-bye. make a car out of anything. <laughs> <laughs>